Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our vlog. Uh, my name's Arthur, and my cousin Mike is meeting me here at Mama Joe's Diner. Uh, I am just kind of hanging out outside waiting for him. And uh, he's coming in from out of state. Our, you know, sadly, a couple of months ago, our grandfather passed away. Um, and uh, he left us his farm, which kind of surprised me. I thought he'd give it to his kids, but instead he gave it to Micah and I, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so my cousin Micah's on his way in, uh, like I said, from out of state. And we're going to have some lunch here um, at Mama Joe's Diner and uh, kind of discuss what we want to do because we could either sell the farm or maybe, you know, try to reestablish it. Now, he, my grandpa, he wasn't, he hasn't been using it for years. Like, he's just kind of, he sold a lot of the land surrounding the farm and um, really downsized, sold most of his equipment. and and But he kept it really nice, what he does have. And so, I don't know, we're going to take a look. We don't have much money. We're going to have to try to find work around here. To, to make it doable, but um, I think we can hopefully someday reestablish the farm and, and really, you know, bring it back to where it used to be. So we're going to try to do that and, and make it happen. So in the meantime, we're just going to hang out here until Mr. Micah shows up. Here comes my cousin. I recognize that, that junky Dodge pickup at Truck Anywhere. <laughs> I like Chevy. And Grandpa was a Ford man, believe it or not. But Hello. Come on in. Oh, look at there. Hey, cuz. Hi, How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Good. Uh, it's good to see you. Yeah, just wish it was under better circumstances. Yeah, I know. It's kind of exciting news for us, though. Well, why don't we yeah. go inside and have some lunch, and we'll uh, kind of figure out what we want to do. Come on. This is, they got good food here. It's been a while. I mean, obviously, I've lived in the area, but not close. So, all right. Okay. Come on in. All right. So, uh, Mr. Micah and I, my cousin Micah, we decided that um, we are going to keep the farm and try to make it profitable over the next couple of years. We're going to give it a little while since it's really free to us, and I don't really have anything going on, and you don't really have anything going on either, huh? No, and no, my uh, I had to sell everything in New York, so yeah, I mean, COVID pretty much shut New York down forever. So, uh, let's go ahead and head up to the farm. Uh, why don't you follow me because I'm pretty familiar with the route up there. All righty, uh, and uh, you follow me in my old junkie pickup. I love this pickup though. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to, Mr. Mike and I are going to try to run some contracts. And uh, Cousin Micah and I are going to try to run some contracts, see if we can't pull some money together. Because um, we want to buy back the field. My, my you know, as I said, my, my grandpa sold off some of the farm. Um as he got older and didn't really want to take care of the land anymore. And so it's some of the parcels have been sold out and we want to buy them back again. So we're going to take a look and see what we got and what's around us and what kind of equipment we're going to need. It's Mr. Mike. Yeah, there he is. Come on, cousin. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head up here this is the back road but you can also get to our place from the freeway but it's kind of fun to cruise up this way especially when you're coming from town this is the best way to get to the shop and i like where the farm is he he always had this farm here and it was it was near the shop so i liked it because we could always get things serviced pretty easily we didn't really have to have a shop of our own There's the freeway up there. And we've even got a bowling alley in case we get bored. So coming up here, this field, this there's a couple fields here that used to be grandpa's. Uh, he sold these. You can see he's 
he always did grass stuff and sold to the local farmers. So um, here's our driveway right here. But he owned all those fields over there. We don't own those anymore. We do own these fields right out front of the property here. So this is ours. But over there on the other side, we don't own those anymore either. So we just have a pretty small plot of land here. But he's got a lot of buildings and stuff. So that, you know, here's the house. You know, so we could live here. Not a problem. And, you know, he did took real good care of his stuff. So this here's a cute little house that we have. We need some paint, but. I'll wait till Mr. Micah gets here and we'll tour it. That junkie dodge. <laughs> hey, cuz. Hey. All right, so you probably this remember. It's a pretty nice place. Yeah, I know. You, you probably remember it from being a kid. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Yeah. Now, you know, my folks, we, you know, my folks stayed in the area, so we. You know, I've, I've been here a lot, but it's been, I mean, I visited Grandpa pretty much once a week, so I'm pretty familiar with it. But there's some there's some cool stuff I wanted to show you. Uh, first of all, this barn is new. Um, he had this built a couple of years ago, and uh, he had a new garage put in, too, so we got those. And then he, his old equipment barn is back there, and that's been taken really good care of. But we don't really, he sold most of his equipment, so are you stuck on something? Yeah, my legs don't want to work. Come this way. <laughs> uh, anyway. So I'll kind of show you what he's got left. Um, we've got this nice equipment shed here, which is pretty large. And he left us his uh, his white tractor. Um, this is a 70s model. And it's, it's you know, it's in really good shape. He, like All his stuff, he took really good care of it. And we have a mower, and he, he basically just mowed the grass. I mean, he didn't do anything other than that with his tractor. Um, really? But he got rid of everything else, huh? Yeah, everything else is gone, except for a couple of cool things. There, let me show you this. This is kind of fun. Uh, and this is where I think we could build our business. Um, he also left this. Oh, got, the old Ford. Yeah, the old Ford, and it's got... Uh, it's got the back here with all this stuff. And hold on one sec. I remember getting hay rides in this. Yep, yep. So we can use this. We can mow and make bales. And right now, silage bales are worth quite a bit of money. Like, you know, we probably could get maybe three or $400 a bale. Um, so we can make some money using the grass that yeah. we have and kind of earn our way back to getting it. But what a gorgeous truck this is. And he took really good care of this. And then we also have... Uh, Anyway, so as I was saying before I, I rudely interrupted myself, let's head on over. Uh, follow me over to the other barn. All right. Because there's another surprise I wanted to show you. So he's oh, left this us. This brand new. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this it's old, actually, but he took really good care of it. Wow. Not that old. I think maybe like 15 years. Oh. Look at that. The old Massey. Yeah, his old Massey, right. He used to take this to shows. But he also used it. It's got, you know, it's already got front loader arms, so we can, if we need to use it, like, to load bales and stuff, we should be able to do that. Um, but it's pretty powerful. This this tractor, believe it or not, actually has more horsepower than the white. I know. It's crazy. Wow. It's a big, big heavy Well, tractor. you did take good care of it, so. And we'll have to do the same. We'll try to keep these as nice as possible. But we're going to, we got to make this place profitable. So, over here on the edge, this is our property line right here. We don't own this pad. The The neighboring farmer owns these fields now, all three of these. Oh, does he? Yeah, and I wish that we did because, like, you know, these. this can really improve how much yield we get off of our fields when we do our work. If we're going to do, you know, like I said, I've looked into silage. Uh, we'd have to rent a baler, and we'd have to rent a... Um, you know, like a um, a wrapper if we do big square bales and sell them. But I think over time, if we work for other people and then we do that every couple of months, we get a, a harvest off of that, we'll eventually have enough. I, I think he's asking 170 because I talked to him the other day and he was kind of like, 
he doesn't want to sell, but at the same time, he's not like you know. He's kind of like, well, I mean, he knows that it's work a, in the area. Is it good? Yeah, and he knows that we're fam- like we're family. You know what I mean? Like he knows that you know we we are not like some new people coming in. This is, you know, Grandpa was friends with him, and so he kind of you know feels that like you know maybe he will sell it to us. So we'll keep working on him. Yeah. And okay. then we'll walk down here. I wanted to show you over here in this end. Um, this also across the street was part of the plot. Once again, farmers have come in and they're, they've purchased the land. I don't think they really care that much about it. They do take care of it, but look, they've, they've planted grass too. It's kind of funny. Like it's a, it obviously does well in this area. So got two different farmers that own this, but this used to be our land here. And uh, this feels. Well, I'm glad it ain't developed. Yeah, right. So I'm hoping that we can talk to them and 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 buy this back also because this is really, especially this field would be great. Um, Maybe what we can do is just contact them, contact them, and ask them uh, if they need any help with these fields. Get to know them, and maybe we can uh, get a decent price. Yeah. Yep. In the future. All right. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna go. See if there's any jobs available um, today. Like, we'll try to see if we can't get this started. Like, we'll call around and, and see what's online. See if we can't find something to do. Are you up for that? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can make some money. Yep. Uh, all right. So I'll, I'm will i going to head in the house, and I will... Uh, you want to hang out? Yeah, or whatever. I got a lot on me, so but right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head in and see what I can do. Micah, oh, you're right there. Hey, I did get a job for us, and the great news is it's actually right next door at that one of the fields that we want to buy. And I talked to the guy, and he actually is interested. He said, you know, not you know, he wants to wait maybe till next year, but he is he is gonna sell eventually. He wants to kind of get out of it. And not only that, but he's got uh, almost ten thousand dollar job for us to do. Um, he wants us to do some mowing for him and baling. So uh, we've got. Uh, if you want to grab w- one of the tractors, and he's letting us use his equipment too, let's get that field mode, and then we got to tet it, and uh, we're going to windrow it and bale it. And right. and uh, right. so so if you want to grab either tractor, the white or the massy, whichever one you prefer, and I'll meet you down there. I'm going to take the Ford pickup because we'll use that to move the bales. And uh, well, let's go do it. It's great news, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I'll see you down there. All right, see you down there. I'm excited to use this truck. It's really cool. Take it easy with it, though. It is old. Four-speed transmission, four on the floor. And uh, he's got the equipment, he said, right down here at the bowling alley behind there. He parked his stuff for us to come and use. So he's brought it all up for us, so there it is. Oh, he's got a Fent. That's unique. You don't see those very often here in the U.S. But it's got stuff that we need to mow, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here and get things started up. So we've got the smaller mower. We'll probably put that. Hey, there goes. Here comes cousin Micah. He's got the uh, Massey all set up there. So probably what I'll do is I'll probably side mow. And I'll let him do the smaller mower with that older tractor. Hey, Micah. Hey. All right. You want I'll... me to follow you in a with a tether? Yeah. Uh, no. Just let's go ahead and mow. Grab the mower. All right. You can mow one side of the field. I'll start on the other, and we'll work together to get it done. And then I'll ted, and or you can ted, and I'll windrow one or the other. So this should go pretty quick. I would imagine we'll have it done today, the hope is. 
the size of this mower. Jeepers, crummy, that thing's huge. That's what she said. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> Start that mower up. Let's get this guy some stuff. There goes Cousin Micah. On his little tractor. So this is nice. Eventually, hopefully, this will be ours. We just got to mow it like... 10 more times and we'll be able to afford it. <laughs> I'm not even sure how much he's asking yet. We didn't go that far, but um, we'll, we'll discuss that with him as we get going this year. But hopefully we'll be able to make a decent amount of money. We really have almost nothing. So Got just a little bit to rent some equipment if we need it. And We might be able to get a loan with Mr. Micah's with uh, cousin Micah's credit and my credit together. We might be able to get a loan, but I try to try to avoid that if possible. See if we can't just make the money ourselves. My wife, my my wife is chiming in. What, honey? My wife doesn't believe in this project. <laughs> she thinks we're going to fail miserably, and she might be right. Times are tough right now. Things aren't paying what they used to. So hopefully she's wrong, but I knew I knew Mr. Mico, our cousin Mico, would take the Massey. He loves that thing. I personally like the white tractor. I've obviously being around Grandpa's farm. I've used it to mow before. And it's, you know, nice and comfy in that uh, AC cabin in the summer. I'd much rather be sitting inside than outside. <laughs> hey, we're going to catch him. I actually think his tractor has more horsepower than mine does. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if this vent, what, what the horsepower rating this vent has. Maybe 100, I think it's 140, it's a 314. <laughs> He's waiting for me. <laughs> hey, cuz. Hey. We're getting this done pretty quick. How you doing over there? Doing all right. Bye. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep mowing. Uh, I'll come back when we're done. But uh, we'll see you guys in just a moment. I'll do it, Jake. <clears throat> hey, Cousin Micah. He's going to run the last path here once I'm done. Hey, Cuz. Hey. Get that money. Make the money. We're going to have to spend a little money first. He can't hear me. We need to get arms for that hit tractor. We're going to have to rent some arms. We'll buy them eventually, but they're expensive. Uh, but we need arms and a forklift. And we'll probably have to rent them a couple times because we're going to need it for our own harvest, which probably with our small amount of fields will be about the same, about 7500 bucks. I'm going to guesstimate. Maybe more. Hopefully more. But we'll see. All right, so I think I'm going to have Mr. Micah tether with the smaller tractor, and then I'll run the windrower. There's that. And let's go ahead and grab the windrower. It's like the old days. <laughs> Reminds me of being a kid, mowing the lawn at Grandpa's. Hey, so how did it go? What, all right. The tractor runs smoothly. This thing's got a lot of pickup. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds really good. 
And it ran okay? No no issues? No stuttering or anything like that? No, it's, it's doing good. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to have you run the tether then, and then I'm going to windrow behind you. All right. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll send you down to the shop, and we'll rent some arms. I'll call down and have them get some arms for you. And we will um, we'll, uh, finish up these fields um, and put Make it on sure the truck. Make sure you tell them Mac Mac Ferguson Red. Massey Ferguson Red? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Yeah, we'll have to buy some arms eventually. But for right now, renting will do. All right, so I'm going to wait for him to run the tedding line, and then I'll windrow it back into a row. A lot of traffic here. I guess this is the exit and entrance to the freeway. Clear now. And I'm going to try to. Yes, I know this tool is reserved for contract work. It's because I'm too close to my fields. They won't let us use other farmers' equipment to do our own personal property. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, this is going nice and smooth. I'm going to try to get Mike on the CB here. You okay there, Mr. Micah? Yeah. Everything looking good? Yeah, running just smooth. Am I on the right line? Yep. Are you enjoying your new job? Yeah, it's better than my old one. Yeah, this is fun, isn't it? Beats being in an office yeah. any day. Do you miss New York at all? Oh. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> Poor New York. I bet you New York misses you. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, everybody's moving out of the city, getting in all the land on the outskirts. So Yeah, yeah. You know, you're almost... It's like every day there's another farm gone. Yeah, true. Thankfully, we're a long way from that here. Would you be able to do an up and down pattern now once you're done, like when you make that pass? Yeah. All right, make it easier for me to, to windrow all this together if you go up and down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here when he's finished and uh, push this all into one big pile. comes hey cuz <laughs> achoo that's some serious grass right there <laughs> Some serious spring fever. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Easy there, buddy. Don't want to break our friend's uh, equipment here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little slow in the head. <laughs> a little slow in the head, huh? That's my cousin. We're definitely family.
Oh yeah. Well, we're we're gonna work the fields here, folks. I'm gonna do a little. I'll speed up time a little bit so you can see the harvest, but it's gonna go fast now. So here we go. So we have finished, we being Micah and I, not you, have finished the uh, uh, tetting and uh, windrowing of this field. So Mr. Micah, I'm going to trade tractors with Mr. Micah. He's going to bale the field, and I'm going to run the Massey down to the shop and uh, get rent some arms for it. And then we're going to load the bales onto the back of our uh, Ford truck. Um, and then take it to the uh, sell point for the owner, and we should get paid then once we're done. So that'd be great. That'd be great. So I'm meeting Mr. Micah down here at the bowling alley. He already finished a couple minutes ago, as you guys saw in the in the speed run. And uh, where is he? Oh. Now, Mr. Micah... Likes to, to tie one on now and then. I bet you he went into the bowling alley to get himself a refresher. Oh, there he is. Where were you? Oh, I was inside dropping off, uh, you know, the kids at the pool. Oh, 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 oh. He had other business to attend to. There you go. This is all set up for bailing, Mr. M Mr. Micah. Cousin Micah, have fun. I'm going to run down to the shop with the Massey and get it set up for... 
Man, Grandpa could see the dirt on this tractor. He'd roll over in his grave. It's not even a, it's only a little teeny bit dirty. He'd be like, oh. He doesn't like any dirt at all on his tractor. It's his baby. Um, is this the right road? I don't think that's the right road. We're going to go. Wow. Traffic right on our butt. Lights on for safety. But we're making money with the tractor, and eventually we'll buy a power washer for the farm. It's low on the priority list right now. Things are probably going to get real dirty before the season's over. <coughs> we got those big pickup trucks. I'm hoping during the winter we can get a couple contracts with, like, the local grocery store and some of these other places to do snow shoveling during the winter. Um, I could probably get a get a couple thousand dollars lined up with a couple different businesses if we do that. So we're going to I'll call around and see what I can do. We'd have to rent plows though. <laughs> this is a great tractor. I will admit it's fun having the wind in my hair. And even though it's a warm day, it still feels pretty good. Here's the shop. <coughs> Pardon me. It's all those hay allergies. So let's see what we got here. 